got a family to look after. I get that. But think about what this could mean for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. Yeah. I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid. But that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? Nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this? I get enough scratch to finally get out? Who knows? You're not built for the domestic life, Bobby. But for six months in, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. Christ. I'm ready to punch my ticket right now. You sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls, and I start to get lazy. Then everything blows up, and I gotta knock the rust off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. One I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at. I'm trying to keep from shit in my pants. It's fucking wearing me out, Tommy. For the big one, though. I know it's a snipe hunt. Every little monster goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? Sure. But if we're doing this, we're waiting till things calm down. Ah. Uh. You're already hooked, pal. Maybe. stays the same. Right. I take care of the crowd. You handle the manager. Threats don't work. Do what you gotta do. Keeps the vault keys on them. See, a teller sounds the alarm. How long do we get? Five minutes. Maybe more. For the cop show. What if it all goes to hell? I'm not fucking around, Tom. You hear gunshots down at the vault. Don't come up. It's the money or nothing at all. You doing this? We're doing this. Stay where we can see your pretty faces. Anybody moves, I'll pop them! Get the manager. I need you all to stay on the ground. I see movement, people start getting shot. We all want everyone to get to go home and hug their kids tonight, right? No heroes, not today. No kidding around, you saw a guy dead. You need to get down here right away. 
should be advised. Some kind of gunman out there. Had to beat the day, didn't I? What are you doing? No, please. Don't do anything. Shit. With me. Down to the vault. I'll do whatever you say. No one needs to get hurt. Keep moving. All officers, search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Return it's to patrol. It's making me feel big. Beating on a little guy. It's I making me feel rich. Finger, and shaky. the little guy gets to walk away if he doesn't do anything stupid. Hello? Yeah, yeah. No. How many guys are you going to One. One. He going to shoot? I don't know. If I see a gun, he gets a bullet. So you tell him to stand down. It's all on you. Manager here is being good and cooperative. Go back we're to all patrol. doing what we're told, aren't we, time. buddy? Keep moving. You won't get away with this. Your sort never do. You just worry about yourself. You want to see your daughter graduate from high school? You, you keep your hands you. where I can see them and tell your guard to do the same. And report of an armed man threatening folks. Attend, please. <laughs> Remember, when you get to your guard, you tell him to drop his gun. You got that? Listen All to me. Cars, Very careful. Called off. I need you to put down your... To oh, shit, shit, boys! Shoot him! He's there! Has to die. I don't have to die. Search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrols. <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Wake your morning. Get the money, it's time to go.
Let's go, Tommy. Club. Sam's Club. Hey, it's empty right now. But you don't know, can't hurt him. I can't believe we fucking did it! We're loaded! We're loaded! Yeah. For all time's sake. Sure. Ah! Oh. We gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow. Unless I'm halfway to Hawaii. Oh, come on. I'm kidding. Hey, I couldn't have done this without you. I know that. Go home. Celebrate with Sarah. Come by my place in the morning, we'll split up the dough. Yeah, okay. Good luck. See you around, pal. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep is all. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Okay, what you do? We're just feeling lucky is all. Got that right, champ. But I've been thinking. Oh, yeah? I'll call the papers. I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. You're moving, even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Polly, you don't even know why yet. Well, that must be it. You better figure it out before you get to Polly's. Just in case it's him that got you all wound up. <laughs> Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. solid leads in the case of the audacious bank robbery that recently shocked the city. The victors of the Battle of the Grand Imperial, as it's become known, remain at large. The robbery, in which armed thugs emptied the vault and left a trail of dead, was one of the largest recorded in the state by dollar amount. The raid was executed with a high degree of violence, and although successful, did not seem to be the work of professional bank robbers. That is according to a source within the FBI who has spoken to a courier journalist on the condition of anonymity. At the time of the robbery, the chief of police was adamant that those responsible would be brought to justice swiftly and that all the resources of the Lost Heaven Police Department were available to the case's lead investigator. However, despite conducting numerous interviews and fielding calls from the public, an actionable lead has yet to be forthcoming. The chief of police has stated that those with any information about the robbery or the perpetrators can anonymously contact their local police station. As time passes, the greater the pressure on the chief to achieve results. If he is unable to secure justice for those slain that day, and due to the violence beaded out, it must only be a matter of time before the G-men take over. Thank you for listening. Now we take you back to some of the latest musical numbers. Extra, extra! With three flights daily, Air Bordeaux is your link to the Bourbon City. Travel in style to the jewel of the South and enjoy premium service throughout your journey. Thanks to your stewardesses, you'll arrive more refreshed than when you left. Air Bordeaux, contact your travel agent for details. With music programming and up-to-the-minute news, this is WLH, Lost Heaven Radio. This neighborhood's going to the dogs. What happened to your door? Christ only knows. Hey, Ed, you made a ruckus last night. Nah, uh, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above me was crazy. Polly! Ah, oh, Jesus.
Paris. Sam, it's me. It's Tom. Where's Polly? He's, uh... He's dead. I'm looking at him, slumped over in a hallway, torn a fucking skull. Oh, God. I was... I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ. I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. You want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll see you soon. And, uh... Thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. Bali. I gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm gonna call the cops. Something ain't right. Someone said it could have been gunshots. A brief report now on the latest political developments in Europe. With the annexation of Austria, and with many predicting that Czechoslovakia's Sudetenland will be next, Adolf Hitler has shown Europe that he is now calling the shots. Despite the restrictions placed on Germany by the Treaty of Versailles, neither France nor Great Britain have done much to stand in Hitler's way up to this point. It had been hoped that the policy of appeasement toward his territorial ambitions would create a more prolonged peace in Europe, but it seems increasingly likely that this course of action will result in new conflict. Should Europe once again descend into the chaos of war, what stance should the United States take? Many would still say European problems are European problems. But the deteriorating situation and the worrying pot... Move, Tommy. Shit. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. You put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam, but I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for, Polly's. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. 
Shale. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up, and I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on. You're the one that let her live. I'm sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal, but you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy.
Sam! I know you do the same, Tom! Hell! I know you've done the same! This is getting serious, boys! Take him out! Guys, yet! Still not over, Tom! Hey!
Salieri was ripping us off! Running out of guys yet! Salieri was ripping us off! Ripping you off, baby! Right here! Um, but the thing about drug money is it pays for a lot of muscle. Put them down, boys! Got 
gotcha. <laughs> Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. But <laughs> the dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crew. And his family? That little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you. Polly, Sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, 
Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family too. Wife. Four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. With this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's gotta eat, right? Even dirty cops. Just being honest here, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not gonna make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Salieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough. time ago, in another life, someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel, his greatest weakness. Maybe he was right, because everything I've done, both good and bad, I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone, trying to find myself so I could come home. A better husband, a better father, a better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness, but it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. Well, lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over. When we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Tommy! That's okay. You're safe. 
safe now. We are all safe. Remember that money, jobs, even best pals will come and go. But family, family is forever 